before we can truly comprehend the impact of civilization upon Florida's pristine springs, we must first understand the origin of these very special and mysterious waters. Rain, the source for nearly all of Florida's water supply, works its way underground into the limestone rock below. It will be several decades before this particular spring shower returns to us through modern plumbing, for drinking, bathing, and maintaining our lifestyles as we've grown accustomed. In fact, the act of turning on a faucet has become such a part of our daily routines that the thought of a diminishing water supply hardly ever enters our minds. And the extent to which we've grown dependent on a supply of fresh water reaches beyond our need for drink and hygiene. We are a state surrounded by and full of water. Florida residents and visitors are drawn to this precious natural resource found in rivers, lakes, streams, and these magical pools of fresh liquid light. Like magnets, water attracts. This seemingly endless supply of water requires us to think twice about its origin, its abundance, and its vulnerability. Just like any other precious commodity, we must be sensitive to issues surrounding its preservation for future generations. Slowly and surely, rainwater makes its way downward from the land surface to the limestone rock of the Floridan aquifer and throughout its network of caverns and caves. Here in this vast underground storage area or aquifer, water can move as little as several inches or as much as hundreds of feet every year. In places where the Floridan aquifer is under pressure, a natural spout upward is created, out from which bursts a spring. There are over 600 springs in Florida, of which 33 are classified as first magnitude, meaning their flow is almost 65 million gallons or more a day. Combined, they discharge more than 6 billion gallons of water directly from our aquifers each day. Where does the water go? It gives rise to entire rivers and is the primary source of many of our spring-run rivers supporting a network of streams with steady flow and constant temperatures. Florida's karst topography is characterized by small surface depressions, or sinkholes, directly linked to the limestone below, where the underground drainage system is ample enough to supply water for all of Florida's springs. However, the porous terrain above leaves groundwaters vulnerable to contamination, that is why the health of a spring's recharge area, or basin, is so important. The quality and quantity of spring water directly correlates to the water in its recharge basin. Spring recharge basins encompass land areas that contribute surface and rainwater to the spring flow. Florida's landscape is conducive to high groundwater recharge rates. Water can carry contaminants from the land surface into the springs. Stormwater runoff can carry oil, fertilizer, and pesticides. Septic tanks and improperly sealed underground storage tanks can contribute nutrients, bacteria, and chemicals. These contaminants are picked up as water moves through earthen rocks toward spring openings. Development in spring recharge areas greatly impacts water and its related ecosystems. Spring-fed streams and rivers have more constant flow, higher pH, more submerged aquatic vegetation, naturally low dissolved oxygen and nutrients, high calcium levels and remarkable clarity. The plants and fish that thrive here depend on this unique mix of ingredients for survival. Nitrates are essential plant nutrients that, when found in unnatural abundance, can alter a spring's balanced ecosystem. A steady rise in nitrates has been observed over the past 30 years in areas where land use practices have dramatically changed due to increasing residential and commercial development or agriculture in recharge areas. 
Conversely, springs with recharge areas maintained in their natural states have lower nitrate levels. The infiltration of nitrates, along with contaminants from nearby residential and commercial developments, is changing spring ecology, impacting plant life and food for some aquatic species. Excessive contaminants found in water coming from the springs signal high levels of contaminants entering the aquifer at recharge areas. 90% of Florida's drinking water is drawn from underground aquifers. Finally, increased withdrawals of water from the aquifer are leading to decreased spring discharge, also posing a significant threat to aquatic life. Florida's most famous spring attraction has one of the largest known flows in the world. Silver Springs, in the center of Marion County, has been open for business for more than 100 years. Glass bottom boats give visitors spectacular underwater views of several springs and 10,000 year old fossils. Rainbow Springs, a state park due west of Silver Springs, boasts one of Florida's largest spring pools with abundant aquatic life and plants. In this aquatic preserve, underwater visibility exceeding 200 feet is common. Silver Glen in the eastern part of the county is a national forest recreation area. A perfect spot for snorkelers, the spring is now under management to be returned to a natural environment. The spring run is connected to the St. John's River and is a popular spot for boating. On a holiday weekend, the entire spring basin is crammed with boats, causing serious abuse. As Florida's shorelines continue to rapidly develop with residential condominiums and hotels, our ocean playgrounds are becoming less accessible for the general population. Consequently, increased recreational use of Florida's first magnitude springs means we are loving our springs to death. Significant changes have been documented over the last 30 years in the appearance, ecology, and discharge of spring water. Quite simply, springs are visible evidence of the immense pool of water below us. Springs sustain life and have done so for thousands of years unique plant and aquatic life, drinking water for human life. Springs give us pleasure in their natural pristine states. They make us appreciate our good fortune to live in this land of natural beauty, feeding our streams and rivers with their plentiful overflows. Springs are our windows to the aquifer world below.